And you did some of my favorite pictures with Kiss, which is a lot of their walking around candid stuff, right? Like in New York, yeah. telephone booths. Maybe you could tell me something about that. Um, well, not the telephone booth, but you know, uh, yeah, there's one where they're running into a phone booth like Superman and pulling off yes. the suits, and then they're coming out the other side as Kiss. Uh, well, that came about, those that set of pictures, I did a lot of work with Kiss, and actually I'm one of the few people who has a, a number of pictures of Kiss outside of the uh, off stage for one thing and also in different clothes besides their super kiss out right um, i have them in japan and kimonos i actually have gene twice i did a, a cover for a japanese magazine a few years ago where he put on a kimono again with a sword wow a sword. but uh the uh, dress to kill pictures came about because cream magazine had an idea for a photo novella which is a story like a comic book story in pictures, but in photographs. Right. And they kind of wrote the script where Kiss is like in their secret identity in suits, mm -hmm. uh, going to work and they read the newspaper and they find out that there's a concert. Uh, they were talking, they, they were referring to John Denver, but they cleverly disguised him as John Cleveland. <laughs> and, uh, and they felt that the world was um, being destroyed by boring music and that they had to save the world with rock and roll. So um, they run into the phone booth, they pull up their suits, and they run out as Kiss, and they put up a bunch of posters for a fake John Cleveland concert, and everybody shows up, but instead of John Cleveland, Kiss comes out <laughs> and saves the world with rock and roll, and at the end, they get uh, metal pinned on their chest, and they have an orgy backstage to <laughs> celebrate. Uh, and it was all done on the fly. Um, when they came over, to, uh, Peter, actually, Peter talks about it in the thing. He said that they raided um, Bill of Coin, who was their manager. He had some suits. So uh, he and Peter actually got suits. I think Peter had a suit. Okay. He was uh, the older one. But, yeah. And Paul said that he had to borrow it from uh, Bill. Ace and Gene are wearing my suits because they showed up. They didn't get the memo. Or whatever. They showed up <laughs> without suits. It worked out better because if you see Gene in the picture, uh, he pushes up the sleeves a little, but Gene is tw three times, three sizes bigger than I am. He's a <laughs> tall guy, actually. He is. Uh, although his son is makes him look like a little old man. <laughs> yes, he is. But he's a very big guy, and so in my suit, he looks like the Hulk because he's like literally busting out of the suit. Like his arms and his legs are like a foot longer than the suit. Oh, my and he's wearing gosh. my wife's clogs, which look like hoofs on him. <laughs> the shoes. Oh my god. Yeah, it is my wife's clogs. So uh um, hilarious. It was very spontaneous. We were in the subway. When we came out, we took a picture on the corner, that just like a spur of the moment, um, on the corner of 8th Avenue and, and 23rd Street, which all the KISS fans come back as a as a pilgrimage to take right. a picture of themselves on. They, they all know what corner it was. Totally. They all go there. And um, and then it actually came out in the magazine first in January when the band was in the studio recording the album. And they liked the look so much that they decided then to call it Dress to Kill and use that picture. Uh -huh. And then I had to bring the suits back and they all got dressed up again in Electric Ladyland. And we took a series of pictures of Ace at the piano and then at the microphone and at the recording panel to make it look as if they were always in that suits. album. And right. that they recorded the album in those suits. And the cover actually won designs for, uh, won awards for the design. Wow. Um, because the name is not actually printed, it's embossed in a mm. black uh, border around the picture. It's uh, the KISS logo is embossed on the thing. And it, it won a lot of design awards. And it's one of the most well-known KISS photos out there. Um, it is. It's so well-known and so iconic, you know? I mean... And it's, it's just funny, you know? <laughs> it's hilarious.